In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the YouTube editor to edit your videos after you've already released them. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today. Now, if like me, you are creating videos, either live videos or pre-recorded videos, and then posting them here on YouTube, sometimes you might find that you actually wanna remove some of your videos. You wanna trim out some of the videos. So in this one, I'm gonna show you exactly how we can do that and what options we have and don't have here in YouTube for video editing. Now, right up front, I just wanna clarify that you can't add anything to a video. So once you've released a video, you can trim it and you can cut it and you can do some things like blurring parts or changing out some audio but you can't actually add anything new so if you wanted to add your new own personal audio or video to an already released video unfortunately you'll need to re-edit and re-upload but there is a bunch of stuff that you can do to edit your existing video so let's jump in and take a look now to get into YouTube Studio, you need to go to youtube.com, click on your icon in the top right corner, and then click on YouTube Studio. And you wanna jump from the dashboard down into the videos tab where you'll get all of your videos displayed just like this. Now for your uploaded videos, they'll be under this uploads tab. For any live videos, they'll be under this live tab. So make sure you go to the correct tab to find your video. So here we are in my videos and you can see I've got some upcoming live shows here and then down below we've got live replay. So the video that I want to work on here is this one. I just did a first look at the new AGK or AKG Lyra microphone. So we want to actually edit this video. The first thing we need to do is to click on this button to go into the details section of the video. And here's all the information. We've got the title, the description, the tags down below. We can add and change whatever we want to, but what we want to focus on is editing. So I'm going to click over here on the left on the editor tab, and this is going to drop us straight into the YouTube video editor. Now, because this was a live video, it hasn't actually been processed yet. We can tell that because we've only got the video track here. We don't have audio or any other tracks down below. And up the top here, it only has save as new. It doesn't have the save button that you'll see when we actually edit a video that has already been processed. So we can still apply some trimming to this video. So if we click on trim here, we can actually use the trim handles to trim our video, but it's not advisable to do so because the problem is if we say put our trim handle there and then we previewed by clicking down the bottom here and we wanted to save it we can only save this as a new video because we don't have the ability to save the original it hasn't been processed yet so that's not as useful as waiting for it to process so it usually takes a few hours up to probably about eight to ten hours sometimes depending on the length of the video so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to back out of here and then i'm going to wait for this yes i'll discard my changes i'm going to wait for this to be completely updated and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to actually do our editing. While we wait for that one, let's just jump into a recorded video. So if you're going to uploads instead of live, these are all the videos I've actually uploaded. So if I go into instead this one here about bugs in GarageBand, we can come in here and what you'll notice is that with an uploaded video, it's already going to be processed. You don't have to wait for processing. And here you can see we've got the different options and these are what I'll show you how to use once we go back to the live video. But we've got our video track, we've got our audio track, which makes it much easier to do our cuts. We've got our monetization track for adding advertising if you are part of the YouTube partner program. And then we even had our elements down here for our end screen. So you can adjust your end screen. So everything can be done right here in the editor. But let's now wait and make sure that we've got our live video completely processed. And I'll show you how we can edit it down to make sure it's going to be great for future viewers watching the replay. So we're actually a few days in the future, as you can probably tell by the costume change here. So now when we actually go down to the editor function here, it's going to bring us up into this. And now you can see that we've got not only the video track, we've got audio track there, we've got our ad break for monetization, and we've also got this element adding section here. We can also add blur. Now I'm gonna cover these in a future video, or if you're in the future, you can check the link or down in the description. But for this one, we're gonna keep it simple. We just 
just want to show you how we can do some trimming and splitting to remove parts of our video. Because remember, we can't add anything in, but we can cut the start, the finish, and maybe something in the middle to make this video as efficient and as effective as possible. Oh, and very quickly before we do, you will lose any live comments. So if you do update and edit and save, you will actually lose the live comments because the timestamps and other things will not line up. And while we're talking about timestamps, also make sure if you do have any timestamps you've already put in your description that you go back and change those. So with those couple of warnings out of the way, let's dive in and get this done. All right, so you can probably see here, I've got a playback window in the middle here. If I hit play on that one. Good afternoon. Good evening. Look at the size of this box. So because this was a live stream, I spent quite a bit of time just sort of welcoming folks to the live stream. Now that's fine on the live version, but I don't want that on future versions. So what do I need to do? I need to trim it out. So you can see we've got this trim button here. This is the first thing I want to click. We're going to click on trim and then that's going to bring up these trim handles on the side here. Now the first thing I want to do is find the point where I actually start the video, which I happen to know is around about this mark. If you don't know, obviously you can watch the video and scroll around. The other cool thing is we've got a zoom function over here so once you've found the approximate spot there we can actually zoom in a little bit and we can find exactly where that needs to be so I can see by the waveform there by the audio wave that it's probably going to be around about here let's just play this back and see if this is the spot where we start the actual review let's set myself up I'll take a quick pause and then we'll dive into the show that's definitely the spot there. So we'll pause on there. We'll come over to here. This is where we'll want to actually dive in. So I'll just go back a little bit so my hand's not in the air. There you go. I'm there. I'm holding my microphone. I'm ready to go. Now you can see I can't get my trim handle now. So what I'll need to do is grab the zoom and re-zoom back out just so that I can grab my trim handle. Now I'll just bring it across. Just click and drag it across. Put it around about that spot. Don't worry. Your little marker stays in the right spot there so that now when I zoom back in over here on the right, I just clicking and dragging this one, there you go. I can now adjust this trim handle to exactly where I want it to be. Boom, right there. That's cool. Now, if that's all that I wanted to do, all I need to do is now click the preview button and then hit save. And now it will actually update that original video as opposed to being able to save it as a new video, which as we mentioned at the start, we don't want to do. We can actually save this original video. That'll keep any of the comments and any of the views that we already have on that video. Remember, it won't keep the live chat comments if someone's watching the replay, but it will keep any comments on there. But that's not all we want to do with this video. So let's go in and take a look at some other things that we, we may want to do. All right, now because this was an unboxing video, I had a little bit of trouble actually getting the box open and that was around about this mark. So I've come to this part of the video. If again, we zoom on in over here, there's a big section in here that I don't really need to keep in the video. I don't need people watching me incompetently try and open a box. So let's just uh, find the part here where it might be a natural spot to cut and then we'll see where we can cut back in. So let's just play the video. Uh, proper planning prevents poor performance. So uh, let me know if you're watching live or if you're watching right. on the replay. We'll pause there. We don't really need that proper planning bit. So we're gonna scroll back a little bit here. Uh, it's just taking a moment to update there. The editor can be a little bit fiddly at times, especially if you've got a big video like this that you're doing lots of edits to. So let's grab this and we'll come back here. Is this the proper performing spot? So I think that's gonna be a good spot to actually cut out. We'll just split there. I think that's the spot. So all we need to do is click on the split button. You can see there we've got some handles. So we're going to be able to do a removal here. If we hit play now. Uh, proper planning prevents poor performance. So uh, let me know if you're watching. Yeah, that, that's exactly where we want it to go. So what we can now do is we'll zoom back out over here and now we'll find the bit where Pete actually gets into the box and gets back into action. So no, he's not in there yet. We're getting close. We're getting close. We're getting close. This is the big chunk of video that I don't need to be in there. I'm just, I'm padding for time. And then I think around about here. All right, here we go. I'm actually opening the box now. So we'll go back a little bit, back a little bit, back a little bit. Around about here. Let's see if we can find the spot where I'm in. To the box, <laughs> which we are into. There you go. So there is, there. All right, so we can just cut to that bit where I go, there you go, there it is. So we'll just bring this, we'll slide this handle across. We'll pop it again around about there. Remember, we're going to make sure that we get the exact spot here by zooming on in. And then we'll find, I reckon, just about there. Again, you can use your audio waveform there to see where it might want to be. So let's just come to here. I normally just click back in the blank section and hit play to see where it's going to jump to. So let's talk a little bit about this before we up. 
All right, so that that's probably a little bit too far because it doesn't look like I've actually opened it. Let's just drop it back to maybe here. That's probably going to be the spot. Click again out of here. Hit play. To the box, <laughs> which we are into. There you go. So there. All right, so maybe we just need it to be there you go. So maybe just a little bit further around about there. I think this might be the spot. Can and we are into. There you go. So there. It all right, so we need just the there you go. So we're going to come down here and like that. I think a little bit of trial and error here. But now what we can do is we'll zoom back out in the top right and then we'll find this spot and we'll just watch the transition here. Now, it's not going to be exact because it hasn't done the cut yet, but we'll be able to see where it comes out and then where it goes back into. Let's hit play. What I can use to slice in there. No, we're just going to have to persist with my fingernail. <laughs> there you go. So there is there it is. Here is what you get on the back. So there you go. So we've cut out a whole big chunk, nearly a minute and a half of me struggling to try and open that. In fact, it's yeah, nearly nearly two minutes of, of, uh, of content that we don't need to have in there. So we'll leave that split in there. Let's now jump to the end because cutting off the end of a stream or a video, especially a live video like this, is often a good thing. But if you're just ranting or you've finished what you need to do, you can do that. So let's jump to the end of the video. Okay, I've saved you watching me scroll around, but I happen to have found that this is the point where I actually finished the review and this bit at the end here is all me chatting to folks who are there live at the time answering some questions but again I don't want that on the final review so what we're going to do is grab this end handle now which is this little blue trim tool we're going to drop it right there on the spot where we've got our our playhead and then we'll zoom in and again we'll be guided by our audio waveform this is why this is super handy because we can see that's where I finish up there so we'll grab this we'll bring it on over and we'll drop it just after I say that final word. Not too close, I don't want to cut it off, but just after there. Righty dokey. Now let's come back and just listen to this final section. Make sure it's all going to be good and that we stop at the right point. See you on the next one. Cheers. Very good. So that's what we want. That's how we want it to be. So now that we've got things set up in the way that we think we want them, we'll zoom all the way back out. We can see there, there's our intro section. We've got that cutout bit that we didn't want in there. Here is the rest of our video and here's the end. Now, yeah, again, we can do things with audio. We can do other things here, which we'll cover in another video. But for now, we just want to save this in so we get the updated version of this video. So we'll hit the preview button here and that's going to preview these changes. There you go, that's locked in there. So you can then once again, just play around with those like we did before, but we're happy. We're actually gonna hit the save button. What it's going to do is it's going to say, this might take a few hours. So this is important stuff. It's gonna take a few hours. People will keep seeing the old version of the video until the new version is available. So we're just gonna click on save down here in the bottom right corner and then it's gonna go away and do its thing. So this can take, as it said, at least a few hours before that video will actually be different. So again, folks will be watching that version of the video and then they'll be able to watch the new version as soon as it's there. So make sure that if you've got any timestamps or anything that they're updated as well once your new video is processed. So back to our main screen now, you can see it's still 42 minutes 51. So it hasn't made that change yet and anyone watching the video will have that as well. I like to put something like this here. You can see I've got a little comment there in the description and also in the pinned comment to say that if you're watching the full live version, then the review starts at 4 minutes 48. That just helps viewers find the start between now and when your updated version is there. As soon as that's been updated and we notice, we can remove that. But that's why I say if you're watching the full version, not just the review starts then. So what we'll do, again, we'll take a little break away from this one. We'll come back in a few hours and we'll show you the difference of the final product of this video now that we've done our edits. So time has now passed. Just imagine that SpongeBob, you know, the one. Anyway, we're here now and you'll notice that even though at the top left here, it still says 42.51. Take a look over here on the right hand side. It is now updated. It's just 28 minutes and two seconds. So it's removed all of that front section, that middle section and that end section. If we want to make sure that's the case, we can just click on the video link here to jump on over to the actual video. It's going to jump in here halfway through for some reason, but we'll pause it and then let's come on back to the start here and just check that it has indeed done these cuts. So if we go to the start of the video and we hit play. In this video, I'll be taking a look at this, the AKG Lyra, also known as the C44 USB mic.
Perfect, that's exactly where we want it to be. We'll do a quick test here right at the end to make sure everything's working here. We'll go here, let's uh, take a look and a listen to the last 20 seconds. Then, so keep an eye on the channel for that one. Thanks for being here. I hope you got some value out of this one or just enjoyed looking at a cute little robot microphone <laughs> and I'll uh, see you on the next one. Cheers. Very nice. So that is all good. We will stop uh, Produce Like a Pro there. But there you go. That is how we can do this. And if we go back to our edit screen here, what I'll now do is remove this little section because we don't want that warning there uh, with that timestamp. We can just delete that and then save in our video and everything's good to go. So that future folks who watch this video, which you can check out in the description if you want to check it out, will see just that edited cut version. And remember, you can use this for not only your live streams, but for your uploaded videos as well. Any video you have there, you can remove stuff. But again, remember, you can't add stuff. Hope you found this useful. There's two more videos there and there with more information about video editing and YouTube. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.